Hello and welcome to another Chesky Review. My name is Josh Cho and today we're going to be reviewing two amazing whiskeys, um, Glendronic 18 and the McKellen 18 year old. Both sharing influence whiskeys. Uh, I just did one um, uh, head to head review with the McKellen 12 and the Glendronic 12. So um, the next one would have to be the Glendronic 18 and the McKellen 18 and see what those two are like. Um, I did review both of these, so I'm not going to get too in-depth about um, those uh, whiskeys individually, but we're just going to go ahead and just compare and contrast these two wonderful whiskeys. Um, I know that uh, when I tried this 18 before, I didn't um, think it was all that amazing <laughs> as I thought it would be. Um, maybe perhaps it needed more time uh, to aerate uh, in this small little vial of a uh, whiskey uh, bottle. and. Um, yeah, we'll see if it's changed anything um, in the past month. Um, as you all know, I really love Glendronic 18, so I have a bit of a, um, you know, I have a bit of a bias with probably what my my decision is going to be between the two immediately as I'm thinking about this review. But um, we'll go ahead and kind of split the differences and see what see what they're like in terms of nose and, and taste. So on my left is the Glendronic, and on the right is the McKellen. Both natural color. Um, if I want to compare the two, what the differences are in the color, <clears throat> uh, it looks pretty darn close. And and I don't think there's any PX in the um, in the Glendronic or the McKellen. Definitely no PX. Uh, the Glendronic it states that it's Spanish Oloroso. Um, let me just verify that, since I have the bottle with me. Um, Spanish Oloroso, okay, yeah, there it is. And the McKellen, um, usually the McKellen on the 12 says Spanish Oloroso, uh, this one just says Sherry Ocast from Jerez, Spain. I am pretty sure it's also Oloroso, they just didn't put it, maybe because it's a smaller label. So they're both um, Sherry Cask influences uh, of the same exact um, Sherry uh, Oloroso in the same region in Spain. Um, just probably the way, you know, the spirit and the distillery and all the other things that separate it, that make it different, are, are its variations, right? But the, the actual maturation is, is um, pretty much the same, and it's in the same amount of years, 18 years. Uh, maybe their sources and where they get their barrels are different. I'm sure maybe that also plays a big part, too. But um, very close in terms of uh, what they state on the, on the face of the bottle. Um, so... Uh, Glendronic's on my left, right, and McCallan's on my, um, McCallan's on my right, Glendronic's on my left. Okay, so same color, um, and maybe, I would say, interesting, okay, almost the same, there's maybe a little bit of a hint of red rubiness on the McCallan, I get, but, but in terms of, like, the, the opacity, like, the darkness, um, it seems a little bit, uh, darker on my Glendronic glass. So, a little bit more red, a little darker uh, kind of hue with the Glendronic 18. Uh, also, a little bit maybe more of a, a gold color on the Glendronic 18 versus a ruby on the McCallan 18. Okay, so off to the smell. And off the bat, it's just like pure candy uh, on the Glendronic. Um, extremely sweet, heavily, heavily, intensely uh, sherried um, right off the bat when you smell that. Dried fruits, extremely sweet dried raisins, uh, candied raisins, brown sugar, caramel. I smell toffee, chocolate, milk chocolate. Probably more milk than than than, than the uh, bitter dark chocolate. Just a beautiful smell. Um, yeah, I mean it's one of the smells that it's hard to um, it's hard to get tired of. Okay, so that's the that's the Glendronic 18, very beautiful. Okay, McKellen 18. Oh, interesting. So I remember when I had this, um, when I reviewed it about a month and a half ago, the smell kind of had a grassy note with the fruit, and I'm getting that again. It's kind of got this like green, kind of fresh um, spring kind of smell, like fresh grass that's been cut, or mint, um, something herbal. Uh, with a lot of fruit, uh, but not really um, intense at all compared to this Glendronic. It's much more sub subdued and um, kind of like, um, 
it, it's got like a little, it's, it's got layers that you can kind of peel apart maybe, um, perhaps even more than this Glendronic, um, because it's not one dimensional in that you smell one intense fruit over the other. Um, it's very kind of um, evenly spread apart in terms of what you can smell. And um, it's kind of interesting. Um, it, it probably would take a lot more time for me to parse those smells out. Um, whereas this one is kind of really rich and just, you, you kind of already can call out a fruit. And well, the first one is just raisin. Um, nothing wrong with that. Definitely not, nothing wrong with that. I, I actually kind of um, really enjoy that aspect of this Glendronic 18. So in terms of smell, I prefer this one over Macallan 18. But certainly, this is a it's a beautiful smell. Very interesting. Like um, I guess in terms of appreciation level, if you enjoy uh, pondering over the smells longer and trying to uh, break things down, I, you could probably enjoy the Macallan 18 more than the Glendronic. Okay, so off to the taste. Mm. Wow. Okay, that was the Glendronic 18. And wow, um, that is really good scotch. Uh, very sweet. And the finish, is, it's really long. And the finish does have the spices that I didn't smell as much, um, but in the, in the taste you definitely get some of that oaky spice at the end um, from that 18 year old barrel influence. Um, it's got that definitely that dry finish because all the tannins from the, the sherry barrels that's been um, maturing, this, maturing this spirit. Uh, definitely almonds, uh, caramel, you know, nuts, um, uh, Raisins, dried fruits, dried raisins, um, brown sugars, uh, all that stuff is in here. You know, baked pastries, uh, uh, baked, baked pies and, and pastries. Um, yeah, and, and definitely I get some more of that dark chocolate with milk chocolate. I didn't smell the dark chocolate, but I definitely taste the dark chocolate. There's a kind of a dry, bittery kind of chocolate flavor in there. Okay, so that's that's Glendronic 18. Um, and um, I'm actually going to pour a little bit of water in there because I didn't give a chance for it to breathe because it's, uh, well, it's an 18-year-old whiskey. And often people say, you know, you want to give like a minute per year to breathe, um, let, the, let the whiskey breathe. So 18-year-old, you want to let, let it breathe, breathe maybe for about 18 minutes. So if, if you want to kind of just fast forward that, you can just add some water to it to let it open up. But um, I'm gonna wait till that kind of just uh, mixes in with the water, and I'll go ahead straight to the uh, the taste for the Macallan 18. Hmm. Yeah, definitely not as sweet as the Glendronic. Um, not a bad thing, just different. Hmm. Wow, you wouldn't think that it was um, as sherried. Um, you know, I would just have thought it would be a lot more sweet because it's been sherry for 18 years. I think the 12 uh, that I did review on, it's actually a little bit more sherry for it than the 18. Um, it's, it's got more of, more complexity to it um, because it's not as, uh, you know, s single kind of dominating fruit um, that you taste when you try the 18 on the Macallan. Um, but you do get the sherry. Let me try it again. There's a, a very interesting herbal No, and I can't put my finger on it, but it's got like a, it's almost like a kind of a chamomile or some sort of like, like English breakfast kind of, um, it's got like a, like a tea kind of flavor to it. Um, yeah, that's really, really interesting. I've never really remembered that when I had the Macallan 18 in the past. So maybe it's just the bottle I got, you know, maybe it's just a, uh, and I and I know I've read reviews and I've I've seen plenty of videos of people reviewing it and that's not something that I ever heard of people picking up. So if any of you guys picked that up from your tastes um, on the uh, Macallan 18, um, please leave your message down below. I'd be really interested in knowing if that's uh, something that uh, anyone else is catching. Um, don't know if I uh, love it or hate it, uh, but it is a, 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 
uh, a, layered wi a layered whiskey, you can definitely spend some time with it. Um, as far as a finish, uh, the length uh, of finish, I would say the Glendronic 18 had a much longer finish. Um, it certainly coated my tongue more, it was much more oily and, and, and thicker, it had a much more creamier kind of um, uh, feel to the uh, uh, whiskey. Um, viscosity seemed a lot thicker, and that's probably maybe um, maybe just due to the barrels that the Glendronic had, had gotten um, from, um, you know, recuperages in Spain. So, I mean, Callan's always been known for having great uh, uh, sources for sherry oaks. Um, certainly the 12 proves that, but something's odd about this 18, so I don't know what to say about it. Um, kind of a little unsure now. I think more about it. Uh, so I would say for right now, between these two, Glendronic 18 is my winner. Um, and uh, uh, that's my review for these two whiskeys. I think um, the next review is probably going to be another Space Side whiskey. Um, sooner or later, I will be changing regions, um, most likely towards the Highlands, since it's not too far from the profile of Space Side whiskeys. And then uh, we'll see what we have in stock for you guys. Until um, then, I'll see you soon. Um, thank you for watching, and leave your comments below.